So when I started working, was given the task of creating a totem pole for uh, the after prom. Mm -hmm. I wanted to create something that would be big and impactful and have people's eyes be drawn to it. And also have some special meaning to the town where all the students grew up. So um, I start off looking at the internet for inspiration at, and coming up with a list of all the different uh, things that make chagrin quintessentially chagrin. So to begin with, I started thinking, okay, the popcorn shop is iconic. The squaw rock is iconic. Um, the waterfall, of course, is the center of our town. Um, and tying it into the school, our school mascot, the tiger, makes sense. In looking at totem poles, they usually have some sort of um, person or object that signifies the kind of main part of the totem pole. The totem pole is made out of uh, mostly styrofoam. The base of it is what's called a sano tube, and a sano tube is a long, um, I think this was a 20 or 30 inch tube that was 12 feet high. And then from that, it's built up with paper mache and cardboard boxes, anything that I can find around the house that's cheap and um, would work to create the shape that I was looking to create in that part of the totem pole. When I come up with the actual idea, I have to make sure that it's going to fit the right scale and that things are going to be in proportion. And that, you know, for example, I don't have like a really tall skinny tree <laughs> that's 13 feet tall or a really wide tree that's only six feet tall. So um, I sketch everything out on graph paper. That way I can measure wh what scene is going to take up how many feet to create the full um, image when it's done. Um, looking at that, I often think at that point, okay, what is, what are the things that the viewer is going to look at that would have special meaning just for them. Um, for example, something that's very chagrin is feeding the ducks. <laughs> so I put some um, a image of ducks in the gazebo. Um, as well, I think I have the uh, roller skates on the other side. And then um, the heart of the tiger, to make it even more meaningful and draw the tiger into the Chagrin Falls community, I have the um, Blossom Time balloon as kind of the heartbeat of the tiger. So there's things like that that uh, make it really fun for me to work on, as well I think are just some little surprises that um, the kids could see when they're looking at it. Um, one of the most challenging parts of the totem pole for me was how do I create a waterfall? The totem pole was starting to look fairly realistic, so I didn't want to just put blue paper coming down or blue fabric. I wanted it to look uh, somewhat more real. So there was a lot of trial and error on that part. I carved out of styrofoam and a hot knife the um, stone that the waterfall would go over, and then I added to that some moss and some and, um, painted over it, put sand in the paint to make it look like realistic stone. But then coming up with the water was very um, difficult and I ended up coming up with um, hot glue put on wax paper in strips and then pulling off the wax paper and then it was just the hot glue that could kind of cascade into the um, waterfall.